to. All right. Now there's two things I gotta start off by saying. I am an asshole. And I'm a very dedicated person. But I'm not a dedicated asshole at the same time. I might say douchebaggy things out of calculation or passion. But not an OCD impulse. That being said, don't get me wrong. This episode sucked. Most of the acting was terrible and... Again, a lot of characters lack charisma. There isn't an authentic feel of the heights. And there's still rooftop parties. With that being said, however, this was a much better episode than the very first episode. Here, while you still have locations that are outside of the heights and a lot of gross miscalculations of what is heights and what isn't heights. At least they do show some locationing within the heights. They show more of the abuelita. And this is the most important part. What they got right is that this time the plot is centered around something. It's not just, look at me, I'm a rapper. Look at me, I'm a poet. Look at me, I just want to be in baseball. And we're the girlfriends. We're just the girlfriends. No. Here, every character is acting like the spine to this storyline involving the main character, whose name I've, in this case, I forgot, leaving his bitchy girlfriend, who should have been featured a lot more. This should have been the first episode, really. And dealing with the fact that his brother is going to be incarcerated pretty soon. And he's turning himself in because he wants those two to three years. And his brother's a young guy. He's like a kid. He's probably my age. Or very close to it. And and then he his relationship with Frankie. And I already said that Frankie isn't really an attractive character. But there are some inaccuracies I made in the first two videos. First off. The Puerto Rican motherfucker that was going out with the white girl and the Puerto Rican motherfucker that's in this little love triangle thing. They're different characters. It's just hard to tell Puerto Rican guys apart. And I know that those guys aren't Dominican. They don't look Mongo. They look Goya. I'm just saying. With that being said, this is where everything... The best part I could say about this episode is that with the brother of this character, this gay Bruno Mars looking Puerto Rican fuck, there is some legit emotional reactions. It's kind of like with the dad of that Spanish Dominican baseball player. There's some real acting in the minor characters do a better job of actually getting me invested into the storyline than the main characters. Because the main characters just aren't good actors. Minor characters, though, don't need to worry about that because they have legit emotional grievances that actually do almost make me tear up. This guy's going to jail. The first episode, the dad. The dad's going... That's been in jail for years, and he's going to continue for, let's say, a few months until they let him out. Now, this is where I kind of want to give a shout-out to John from my high school. He's a real nigga, and I want to give a shout-out to Andrew. We've known each other since we're practically babies and shit, so there you go. But this is where the episode kind of gets fucked up. You see, while we do get a legit antagonist, which is that bitchy girlfriend, there's so much about this that makes me realize, that in many ways, this show just fucking sucks because the major characters suck. Everybody's practically autistic in this thing. 
But that's an insult to people that are actually legitimately autistic. Everyone has issues socializing. Everybody's antisocial in this series. The only two characters that are not antisocial, which are the two spinal characters of this episode, those guys are socially awkward as all fuck. Frank is socially awkward as a female character, and the gay Bruno Mars Puerto Rican fuck, he's socially awkward as all hell, and while I understand how he can get emotional, I've been through similar situations as him, so I can understand where he'd get all teary and shit. He got stood up by his dad, and he started crying like a little bitch. These guys have socially realization issues and while the Jersey Shore war cluster B fucks and idiots and disorderly disorganized degenerates at least they knew some semblances of socializing and how to say hi talk to people make a conversation handle different uncomfortable weird high pressure situations like what do you do if somebody's having a rooftop party? They're all getting together besides pushing them off the building, which is what I would have done. What? How would you like... You would join in. And if you're not feeling social, then you can just go home. You don't just stay in the corner acting like a histrionic little bitch. Or if you see someone crying because of something that's happened to him, you don't say, well, I don't know what to say. I'm not really good with this. I don't know how to socialize. Uh... I, I'm just saying, okay, okay, they're there, but I don't really know what to do. You don't tell a person that if a person is crying, you do your best to console them. You touch them. You make them feel like they are a fucking human. You do not stand here and t brag about your autism and your lack of socialization abilities while this person is crying because their brother is going to fucking jail for a few years. And this is a younger one. You, you don't do that shit. You don't, you don't fucking do that shit. So that's one legit problem I have with this, which is the fact that they can't socialize. The other problem, and this is a bigger problem in my opinion, is that, quite frankly, this whole episode is gossip. It's niggas meeting up with friends, talking about... Well, there's a B story to this about the acting, but... You already know what I thought about the first episode, so talent show shit just doesn't really interest me. Oh, and shout out to Bernie Reynoso. He, he liked my status, so. You know, whoever likes this while I'm making this video, I'm just going to give him a shout out. And everyone does it afterwards. I'm going to put in the description some honorable mentionings. Why not? I'm feeling extra friendly today. I didn't even intend to make this video, I did it because somebody requested it. Alright. This whole episode is every character talking to one of the major characters about this little love triangle shit. You don't like this girl, but you like, uh, Frank? What's the deal? What's the deal for your relationship? Uh, what are you going to do? How's it being single? How's it being cuffed? I know you don't like this relationship. I know you want this relationship. Uh, it's all gossip. The whole episode is 40 something odd minutes of gossip. And this is ultimately where I feel like what they do right with this show and what they do wrong with this show. Forget all the Washington Heights bullshit. I mean, we know rooftop parties don't happen. I was bitching out a little too much about that. What they really get wrong with is the fact that... Here we have some good scenes in the first two episodes with the dad in prison and the little kid, the little bro that's going to prison. We have genuine acting and it's something that people from the heights might actually relate to and might get an emotional reaction that quite frankly we need a lot more of instead of just ooh bragging I'm from the fucking heights 
Good for you. But if this is where they get it right. Where they get it wrong is with this whole, I'm trying to make it big in the entertainment industry, which, by the way, you guys can never do. Because with all this copyright bullshit and how the industry is in a closed circle of Illuminati fucks and how they don't really need talent and there's basically not a lot of room for people in the actual industry. Trying to entertain isn't where the money's at, but every character in this series is ironically trying to make it big in that very industry, and that's not interesting. We want to see some thugs from the heights. We want to see that kind of shit. We don't really care for, and I'm speaking from the point of view of myself and my friends. We don't really care about this, I wanted to be famous shit. If you're in this television show, odds are, at least for your 15 minutes, you are fucking famous. Get the fuck over it. I don't give a shit. Suck my dick. Now, other than that, the Hollywood shit, there's this subplot with the guy that's trying to be an actor, but he's not really committed. He doesn't really set himself to higher standards. This is such a non-plot aspect because you see him, Audubon, and a bunch of other characters that are, for this subplot, this episode being left in the dust to just do the de facto gossiping and shit. Basically, this is, this is the whole subplot. I'm not really committed to acting, but I want to be an actor. Oh, really? Oh, well, here's this little... I think I got you. I saved up some money, so now you can take some acting classes. That's the whole subplot, and this is basically your only break, your only fucking break from the gossiping about this love triangle that isn't really that good anyway, because basically, he's making a choice between a bitch and someone that's not really that attractive, although the guy... This Puerto Rican fuck does seem like to be trying so hard to seem straight, so I don't think that he minds. Yeah, being single's alright. I mean, I'm not having sex and shit, but it's good not to be on all that drama and with the baby mamas. Yeah. Oh come on, just come out the closet already. I mean, there's a demand for that in Hollywood, which is probably where you guys are trying to go to anyway, because, God forbid, you stay here in the Heights and don't really take off anywhere in the entertainment industry. But, that's basically all I have to say. I don't want you guys to get the wrong impression. This episode is probably better by miles in the first one. In fact, I'd argue that they should have started it with this. And instead of having that I think subplot, maybe he had the guy's storyline with his dad, the baseball player, and then try to interconnect that to a stupid fight so that that crappy ass fight scene that nobody even remembers a week ahead. All in all, bad acting, the good acting comes from minor characters, and the minor characters stole the show yet again. The main plot, at least there is a plot, and that's more than I can say about the first episode. But despite all this, this, while not passing off as god-awful like the first episode, is just mediocre. I'd rather be watching the Jersey Shore, the Hills, and I don't really like those shows, and I don't really like the people that like those shows either, but you do what you have to in this world to make ends meet, and all the bad shit that's gonna come as the ramifications, that's basically, you shouldn't care about that since it's all about survival in the end. You gotta do some bullshit to survive here, so good night everybody.